Hi guys. Um, so my family have been talking to me because I'm really passionate about um, sickle cell and, you know, kind of like spreading awareness of it and also spreading awareness of symptomatic trait individuals like myself. Um, I have suffered ever since childhood with painful crises. There's not a lot of knowledge about symptomatic carriers of this illness. Um, there's not much information out there, but it is out there when you look and if you look um, deep enough. I have known about my status ever since I was a child, but because doctors always told my mom whenever she would take me to them when I was really small that... Um, it was growing pains, which is the norm. That's what they always say. I kind of grew up in a lot of pain. I remember a lot of times going through crisis where I think from from age five um, is where I can remember. I mean, I used to have a lot of pelvic pain, a lot of pelvic pain. I mean, pain to the point where it just felt like something was stabbing me in my pelvis, um, in the pubic bone. Um, that's a very unpleasant feeling. Um, and it's only this year going through such a severe crisis. I mean, you can see I, I had a, I, I slept in till about 11 o'clock today and my eyes are really dark underneath again because I feel shattered. I'm ready for sleep soon. Um, I keep having pain. It's lingering. Normally, I go into crisis. It's done within like eight weeks. Normally, it's really severe, and it's about once a year. Um, and the past couple of years, I've, I've been not really that bad. Um, every year, I get sick quite frequently. I know that, you know, my body tends to have a weak immune system and so I try and build up my health as best as I can um I take herbal supplements but I had um I, I just felt really fatigued and quite under a lot of pressure and stress and I didn't realize that stress is one of the triggers um I've washed my hair today so apologies it's just natural I'm I'm not gonna try and look cute or pretty it's about spreading awareness and showing the reality of what people like me go through um I can't sit up which is why I'm kind of like propped on the sofa just laying on my side um this week at work it's been quite painful sitting even though I've been working from home and I try and make myself as comfortable as possible. But yeah, I'm feeling a bit of pain now. Um, my limbs today has been a cold day. My limbs have been feeling a lot of pain. My feet keep having shooting pains. I've been having pains that I didn't even know were, you know, part of symptoms of sickle cell um i have been having shooting pains above my left ear so here been having shooting pains like going into my head and all down my neck um it's been really bad i couldn't hold a knife and fork my mom had to feed me and cut my food for me because i couldn't do that just touching my skin or brushing hands gently on my skin I would be screaming in pain or crying um I've taken a lot of selfies well when I was able to because I couldn't always use my limbs or my hands dependent on whether the swelling had gone down in my arm my right arm had been quite swollen majority of three months um but yeah the crisis that I had left me it felt like I was crippled because a lot of time I was unable to really stand or sit for a long time. I couldn't walk properly. Um, and I'm having pain still in my feet. 
Um, I just find at the moment my, my aim is just to kind of like make sense of it all because it's as much a mental journey, emotional journey, as it is a physical one. And through this pain, at one point, I did say to my mom, you know, I felt, what is the point of being alive? Um, I just had enough. The pain was just so bad. And it has scared me to some extent. Um, you know, I've had pneumonia. I've had problems with my breathing, problems with my chest kidney infections which are associated with sickle cell disease um i don't fit the generic box so because of how i was treated when i went to doctors to ask for help i decided to create a facebook group um to spread awareness and to also shout out to kind of open up and be vulnerable and let people know that i'm suffering with a sickle cell crisis. I've been left in a lot of pain. I've had no real support apart from just my mom um, and my family as my support bubble. Um, you know, my mom hasn't been very well herself and she's had to look after me. If there was, if there was nobody here to help us, I'd be dead. My mom would most likely be dead because of the pressure, the stress. It's been really horrible um to go through in a very lonely journey um most of my life i know that if i get really fatigued then that's also a trigger um i know the general the general rule is um trait individuals are healthy carriers and don't tend to suffer um apart from certain circumstances such as like high altitudes um low oxygen conditions um, avoid smoky places, sleep well, hydrate well, because dehydration can trigger off a crisis. Um, in some American, African American athletes, um, they've been known to drop dead um, just from experiencing a crisis during overexertion and um, training quite hard. I've never had problems because many of you know when I was a lot slimmer and younger, I used to run. Um, I used to run up to eight miles every morning, 5 a.m. And I miss that. I miss that so much. And in my head, I'm, you know, active and I'm fit and I'm, you know, doing all these things. I just need to stay safe because there's so much that I've learned this year. Um, and I'm not going to let it, you know, stop me ever doing these things i'm gonna aspire to reach my goals and to do these things um but i think it has just made me aware of what i've been experiencing all these years i found messages on facebook actually one from eight years ago where i was having shooting pains in my arms and my legs and it's just like wow i thought i was coming down with flu and i just it just never clicked um even though I used to always go through this as a child and in my teens and through my adult life, you know, I've gone through it a lot, but it's never really clicked until this year. Um, and I had to do a risk assessment with work. There's been times where like a couple of years ago, a friend of mine was talking to me, a good sister um, friend was talking to me and I told her my limbs kind of went really suddenly weak. And this year that happened a lot where I had to shout for help from my mom if I was carrying a bottle of water um, because I just all of a sudden would go limp and my my arms would go really limp and I'd have to just immediately lie down. Otherwise, I felt like I was going to collapse. And that's new. I've not really felt like that um, ever before. Um, there's a lot that I've learned. Um, you know, I, I think I think it's good for people to talk about sickle cell disease but also there's nothing really that protects us who are symptomatic with the trait and it seems to always be that you know it's ethnic minorities that are left needing help not ever listened to or believed or understood there's so much knowledge lacking out there for trait um, individuals who are symptomatic and i kind of want to spread a bit more awareness out there because 
I've met quite a lot online fit on my Facebook group there's been many inquiries either parents of you know um uh, white parents with black kids you know or biracial children if that you know for want of a better term and I've I've not really had any white people inquiring but I've you know many many black people um all over the world have inquired family that I didn't know you know carry sickle cell trait and stuff I've, it's opened my eyes to a whole world out there and, and this very grey area that nobody tends to talk about or know about, you know, for us, we're left desperate and with no help apart from finding each other and learning to support each other and to share our experiences because I think together we can learn a lot. We can learn how to stay safe, how to try and minimise, how to stay healthy um, and also hopefully... Um, you know, teach others who don't know the circumstances they need to be careful of, even if they've never suffered a crisis before. Or, you know, teach those who have no clue about it ever. And also educate us who aren't sure or don't understand what our bodies are telling us or what our bodies are going through and knowing actually that this is a, a sign our bodies telling us that we're going into crises. So, yeah... Um, that's my aim. This video is just a quick one. Um, I've had swelling of my arm since yesterday. My right arm swell, swell up and I've had a lot of pelvic pain and my neck, the left side of my neck, my head is throbbing at the moment. Um, but you know what? It's all good. I'm just doing bit by bit. I'm drinking beetroot to lower blood pressure and cleanse the blood nettle teas to help lower blood pressure cleanse the blood and it's anti-inflammatory and you know drinking my two liters sometimes four liters a day of water um to stay healthy so yeah keep posted i'll keep posting about my journey and anybody who has any stories or experience of going through sickle cell or pain crises in relation to sickle cell, please shout out, get in touch, post, share your thoughts, your views, um, and what your experience is. Thanks. Peace. Bye.